have formed a beautiful committee and put somebody who is not an ordinary person as the chair of the committee. Mm -hmm. And this person is Professor Frimpon Boatin, who is well known in Ghana. He's a gentleman, educated. He was in his health sector, but got up and said, let me do a bit of politics mm -hmm. because I want to serve my nation. Mm -hmm. So he is the chair of the committee. What's your point? What point are My you driving? My point is that if the chairman of the committee has identified that there is so much corruption in the Galamse industry <clears throat> and has written to you, take it as a petition, has written to you, what do you have to do as a government or as a president? Roland, do you know the whistleblowers at? Let's take it that Professor Frimpon what is even is, is a nobody and just came up to tell the president that in the Galamse industry, your own people, your own people who say they are fighting Galamse are not doing so. And so investigates them. The whistleblowers act is supposed to give him protection. And here is the case that the prof has come up with X, Y, Z, and all the best you can do is to put him through the stress. Well, the it, best, no, really, let me finish. It's the a report best, that he's brought up. Yes, so he's if it's being investigated, according to so why, um, Laura, why, to why the arrest? Wrong. Why does the arrest come in? There is a difference between somebody being called to answer questions mm. and somebody being arrested. Prof said he was called. So now he's become an accused person. Exactly. How is that possible? I am calling you to call some people to order. Now you turn around and make me an accused person. This is how unfair MPP government is.